go. Go, go. Go, go. A straightforward high school problem. Not really a ruin problem, but occasionally <laughs> I have no choice because I've done now 50 problems and I'm pretty much running out of ruin problems. This one is very straightforward. I had in mind a bowling ball that I release on a bowling lane, but that was just for triggered this problem. And with the dimensions that I chose, I had sort of a bowling ball in mind, but you can forget about that if you want to. That is not part of, we don't have to know this to solve this problem. This is a solid sphere, a uniform mass density. It has a radius r, it has a mass m, the radius is 12 centimeters, the mass is 8 kilograms, and I release it on a horizontal surface. I release it with zero spin, but it has a speed v0, and v0 is 9.7 meters per second. We will take for gravity 9.8 meters per second square. The friction coefficient between the sphere and the surface is 0 0.20. I have here the Greek letter mu. So what is going to happen, of course, all of you probably can easily imagine that you can do an experiment like this at home with, with any ball that you may have. So in the beginning it slides, but then because of the frictional force it's going to spin up in this direction. And there comes a time that the object is in pure roll. If you forgot the meaning of pure roll, you should go back to several of my problems of the past, because I use that pure roll concept very often. But you can also look it up using Google, of course. Pure roll means that if, the, if this point here has made one complete rotation, so it comes here, of course, because it's rolling, that the center of mass, the center here of the ball, has traveled over a distance 2 pi r. So this point goes like this, and when it is here, the center has traveled over the distance 2 pi r. That is the definition of pure roll. I want to know when it reaches pure roll condition, what is then the frequency? How many rotations does the ball make per second? I would prefer you give me the answer in hertz, which is rotations per second. If you insist to be a pain in the neck and give it to me in omega, that's okay too. But I prefer hertz because put yourself in my position, I have to quickly see whether your answers are correct or not. And I prefer to do that in this case, the units hertz. So what, how many rotations per second does it make in hertz, that is hertz, when it reaches pure roll? And then I want to know, at the moment that it reaches pure roll, what is the distance then that it has traveled? So when I say distance traveled, I have to add the very moment that it reaches pure roll, I want to know how far it has traveled. And remember, it starts with no spin at all. 
only a velocity. And then the last question is, when it reaches pure roll and afterwards, when it stays in pure roll condition, what then is the frictional force in Newton's? Okay? Give all the answers, three digit precision. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing special. Classic problem. Many of you have done a problem like this in high school. So, I expect many excellent answers. So we have all the numerical values that you will need. Eight kilograms, by the way, is about the mass of a bowling ball. And when a bowling ball is released, I also looked that up, it's about 20 miles per hour. So that's very close to nine meters per second. Okay, have a nice day, take care. And yeah, well, not, why not? Why shouldn't we be friends? Right? I'd like to be friends. <laughs>